Remember the last time you fell ill and nonchalantly popped antibiotic pills without consulting a doctor? You know it's incorrect, but it's a common practice now. Today, the practice has led to a major public health crisis, antimicrobial resistance. Inappropriate use of antibiotics is one of the main contributors to antimicrobial resistance or AMR. According to the World Health Organization, AMR occurs when bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites stop responding to antibiotic medicines. It has the potential to threaten the treatment of diseases such as tuberculosis, malaria and common infections, which rely on antibiotics. Unfortunately, numerous studies over the years have identified India as a hotspot for AMR. But why? India is a tropical country and people here suffer from more infectious diseases compared to people in other parts of the world. So, doctors here are more likely to prescribe antibiotics to treat a patient in good faith, says Dr. Rajiv Jayadevan, chairman of the research cell at Kerala State IMA. But on day one or day two, there's no way for the doctor to determine it was a virus. Even though you might have heard many of us speak on uh, national media and so on, saying that viral infections don't need to be treated with antibiotics. Think of it from the prax practitioner's standpoint. When the patient is in front of you, there's no way for the doctor to say that this is bacterial or not, or viral or not. So they use their clinical instinct. So the clinical picture is warranting antibiotic if the doctor will use an antibiotic. So that is, so if you multiply that across a population, you can see the use of antibiotic will be high in India. Second problem, what I see here is there are extensive over-the-counter use of antibiotic. Patients bypass the doctor. They may go to the drug store, medical store, as they are called, medical shop, as they are called here, and talk to the person on the counter who might not even be a pharmacist. Under the Indian Drugs and Cosmetics Act, antibiotics are required to be sold by retail pharmacists only on the prescription of a registered medical practitioner. However, the implementation of the regulation continues to be a challenge as rampant over-the-counter sales of antibiotics persist throughout the country. Blame it on the fragmented nature of the pharma retail market in India. Unorganized markets undermine the ethical sale of drugs and regulatory checks on medicine distribution. In 2020, the pharmacy retail market was valued at 1.78 trillion rupees. It is expected to reach 3.07 trillion rupees by 2026, expanding at a CAGA of 12.02%. Of this, the organized retail pharmacy market stood at only 13,000. 421 crore rupees in 2020, according to US-based consultant marketresearch.com. So, is there a concerning trend here? India is going uh, towards a catastrophe in terms of actually antimicrobial resistance. If you look at um, the World Health Organization um, kind of recommendation, uh, it has very clearly uh, given a direction to all the countries saying that uh, among the aware classification of antimicrobials, that is access, watch, and resolve, about 60% of them had to be the access drugs. But what is happening in India is uh, something, you know, which is very, very different, uh, phenomenally different. You know, instead of actually 60% usage of access drugs, we are having approximately 60% of watch drugs being very frequently used. And this abuse is going to have a serious long-term impact on how we are going to treat the patients, uh, how we are going to see the escalation of the mortality and the morbidity, and uh, making actually the patients vulnerable and the doctors coming into a situation where they would not have any antibiotics available for them to treat even the common infections. Not surprisingly, WHO lists AMR among the world's top public health threats. Pharma insiders agree that weak regulatory control on sale of antibiotics could lead to antimicrobial resistance among individuals and communities. This calls for regulatory intervention to address the issue. Retail as well as online pharmacies 
should be made accountable for examining the veracity of prescriptions for safe dispensing of medicine. Farmers using pesticides to increase crop yields can increase resistance among plant pathogens. This eventually leads to the transmission of AMR organisms in humans from horticultural sources. The growing use of antibiotics in the animal husbandry sector also adds to this problem. Imprudent discharge of industrial waste from pharma companies and hospitals may release antimicrobials directly into surface waters. So, what more can be done to tackle the public health crisis? Dr. Tipu T.S. of Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitham, Kochi, proposes restrictions on the use of antibiotics in clinical and non-clinical facilities, as well as accountability among prescribers. The antibiotic use or misuse is not only limited to the hospital facilities, but there is rampant use of antibiotics in the agriculture, in the field of fishery, for increasing the yield, increasing the yield, as well as in animal husbandries. So, that requires a wider regulation as well as education in a wider context. It is like a slow pandemic. If we do not understand this and if we do not come together and if we do not act to prevent this widespread antibiotic misuse, then that will lead to antimicrobial resistance in the environment which can in turn cause a resistant infection in a person who is getting infected in the community. Public health is a state subject, which allows states to formulate their regulations. Presently, only Kerala, Delhi, Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh have action plans for AMR, while the rest of the 24 states are still to adopt one. Although India has a national plan to address the threat, all states must implement similar action plans. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard